State tournaments continuing across the state for baseball, softball, and soccer. We're going to start the action out west with the Class B baseball tournaments. The defending state champion Thompson Tommies in action against Bishop Ryan. The Tommies making their seventh consecutive state tournament appearance, and they're going to open up the scoring here in this title defense. William Welke cranks an off-speed pitch toward left field. This one's going to fall. Reese Berberich makes his way back home. Thompson leading 1-0. Into the second we go, Braden Wolfgram decides to keep the scoring going. This time it's a drive into right field that brings Barberich and Braden Tice back home. The Tommies with a 3-0 lead. But Bishop Ryan isn't going to going down without a fight. Carson Merck fires this one over second base to move a runner into scoring position. But a grounder to Thomas Schumacher is going to leave the Lions stranded. Thompson finishing this one off in six innings, winning by run rule to advance to the semifinals. North Star and Central Cass closed out the night at Corbett Field. Both teams on a three-year streak of state appearances. The game was scoreless and hitless until the top of the fourth. Squirrels junior Eli Burr is going to open it up in style, though. This one ripped to deep left field. No doubt about it. Solo home run puts Central Cass up one to nothing. Zach Jordy shutting the Squirrels down on the mound from there, though, striking the batter out looking here. He has six strikeouts on the day. But Central Cass's pitcher Jackson Parker did even better. The infield fly. He snags it. Parker held a no hitter all the way through five innings. That's why he's so fired up about it coming up here. North Star with two outs in the bottom of the seventh flown out to Carter Verchata in center field and that'll end a true pitcher's duel. Jackson Parker finishes with a one hit shutout on the bump. Central cast with a one nothing win. Into Class A now, we had a little bit of a weather delay here in Fargo for the Class A tournaments, but they're back in action. Top seed in the West, Mandan up against Fargo North. Jonah DeJong in the top of the first slips this hit past third. In comes a cheering Owen Bem and Levi Sfeet speeding in two. Sfeet rolls around the plate to snag the tag. Unreal effort there. Spartans up two to nothing. Bottom of the first, it's a 1-2-3 inning for ace pitcher Charlie Kalbrenner. His third K in a row shutting down the side. Finished with 14 strikeouts and only two hits allowed. Quiet couple of innings later, bottom of the third, Braden Bunnell hops this one near Callbrenner. The throw to first is too hard, and Dylan Geiger rounds third and heads for home. The Braves get one back. Top of the fourth now, Fargo North answering right back. Hudson Stein rips one down the left field line. Peter Dorscher going full steam ahead with the slide into home. The Spartans re-extend their lead, and Fargo North are moving on. A big 4-1 to win over the top seed out of the West, bringing them to the semifinals. And the final game of the opening round for baseball, didn't start until shortly before news time because of those weather delays. Right now, West Fargo and Jamestown are scoreless in the second inning. Now checking into the Class A softball bracket, Dickinson and Cheyenne opening their tournament stays. Dickinson with a 2-0 lead in the third inning, but here come the Stangs. McKenna Alexander cracks this one down the third baseline. It just keeps rolling back. Kyra Narum touches home plate. We have a one-score game. But the Mustangs aren't done yet. Kate Geisler with a shot right back up the middle. Nobody's going to get this one. Two more Cheyenne runners come home. The Mustangs with their first lead of the game. Dickinson looking to respond in the bottom of the third, and Morgan Koffler delivers. This one lands in the turf as Ava Johnner rounds third. We are tied up at three after three innings of play. Now this one stayed close to the bitter end, but Dickinson survives 8-6, to six, the final from the opening round. And last but certainly not least, back to the Class B bracket. Two Eastern teams going head to head. Bayport CG and Hillsborough Central Valley meeting to close out the first round. Patriots wasting no time opening things up. Riley Satram with the fly ball to left field. That one is caught, but Mesa Larson comes home on the sacrifice. One nothing lead for the Patriots. Into the bottom of the first, the Burroughs answer right back. Serena close with a deep shot to left center, rolling all the way back to the wall. Peyton Guam makes her way back home. We are all tied up. Pats with a shot to reclaim their lead now, but HCV stands tall. Parker Strand caught in a pickle trying to steal third. Kaylee Kittleson with the tag to end the inning. The Pats would get back home eventually, dominating the rest of the way for an 8-2 win. And the last Class A quarterfinal for softball, that's mm -hmm. going to actually be played tomorrow morning. The weather delay kind of affected that one, so uh, West Fargo and Bismarck Century will go head-to-head -to -head Made it a busy night, even a little more busy. Now I got to wake up early, too. <laughs> As for the weather, see if the weather busy stretch continues. Hutch is back in with one final look next.